For the last five years, I've worked between the Caribbean and the US. I, I got approached to work on Australia's Next Top Model for a couple of seasons, uh, shooting all their advertising and campaign images, and then I worked on Project Runway here, seasons two and three. And then from there, I guess it moved overseas, and that's when my big break came um, on Caribbean's Next Top Model as, as a judge. Moving forward a couple of years, I'm up to season four now. I grew up in Fiji, lived in New Zealand for a while, <laughs> lived in Hawaii for a while, and then Australia. How did you get into photography? That was always there since I was a kid. I, I always had a little camera. Whether I was consciously taking pictures for, you know, for record or anything, I think I just found it interesting capturing moments because I was a single child with a single parent. So it was just my mom and I. So she was really the only outlet I had for any sort of communication because I didn't have a dad or brothers or sisters. So we spoke about many things and, and art was one of the subjects that she always encouraged because she felt that uh, being a school teacher herself, you know, it's, it's a good balance between, you know, mathematics, science. You need to exercise that other part of your brain that I think kids need to really be made aware of how it grounds your, your outlook on life a lot better than just one or two things. So the whole person rather than just, well, you're really good at maths and you've obviously got a brain, let's just push you into that little yes. avenue. Let's yeah. create this whole person. What kind of people have you photographed? Quite a large cross-section. Um, models, actors, musicians, sports people. I think one of the biggest uh, projects that I did throughout Australia was Gods of Football, which was a uh, an international charity campaign which featured um, Australia's top NRL and AFL players posing nude for charity. Basically, the McGrath Foundation was the charity that we were aligned with. What gives me satisfaction is to be able to use my arts, my expertise, my, my trade to give something back to the community and not just to get praise for nice pictures because it doesn't fulfill the soul totally if it's just about that. Your mum obviously supported you, yes. but she's a school teacher and the whole reconciling of artistry to very steady wage, steady income, all those kind of things, how did you two work through those kind of things together? By telling her, I need to be happy when my soul's happy. If my soul's not happy, then I can't be happy. And you can, you can identify the needs and wants of a child, you know, mechanically, theoretically, but spiritually you can't because that's a personal journey and it's something that you each, each person has to learn through their own path through life. I think for any parent, you need to step back sometimes, listen to what they're saying because we all have a voice. If you smother your child's voice, how will you ever let them grow? You need to be aware that your opinions and your expectations aren't the only thing that matters in, in another human's life. So I, I went down that path of you know, being academic and studying engineering, but I, I realized, you know, very early into the piece, it just wasn't me. <laughs> so anything artistic, whether it was singing or performing or photography, I felt that my purpose is to, to help narrate, help people see things from another perspective. But I think, um, I think because I was so diligent and perseverant and, and disciplined with it, she, she saw that I had you know, real belief and faith in it. So, so she loves it now. <laughs> you talk about respect, yes. something that often doesn't get talked about in families. You respected her, she obviously respected you because together you were able to work through any hiccups in your relationship yes. to come full circle. And so this journey began. Yes, and, and I think once she realized, as touching on before what I said about the charity aspect of it, once she realized that I got so much fulfillment of doing that because I see she gets that when she teaches kids. It's not just about, you know, um, divulging theory and, and formulas and al algebra and grammar. It's, it's about instilling ideologies and an, an outlook in a human being's life, you know. So she realized that that's what that meant to me. It wasn't just taking pictures. Again, that's what it all boils down to. It's not just clicking a picture. <laughs> it's, it's about what you want to give to, to the world through your eyes. Through the camera lens. Yeah, and the camera lens too, mm. yes. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. Thank you so much for being persistent with creating your art. And I do hope that you have much success and influence in the future.
Thank you. And thanks for having me on the show. I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you grow and continue to inspire people as well. Me too.